Hey everyone, Tamara here. Today I wanted to cover the topic on why as you progress down the spiritual path, your friends and family may start becoming very jealous of you. So yeah, let's get into the topic. So I found throughout my journey, my spiritual journey, that the more I progress, so the stronger my connection gets with you know, God, the universe, source energy, whatever you want to call it, and the more I've cleaned up my life, I found that, you know, my enemies were actually hiding in plain sight. So that being, you know, the people around me, friends and family start uh, looking at me differently, start giving me the side eye, start becoming irritated being around me. And, you know, this will happen to you as well. The further along your path that you get, the more that your enemies will reveal themselves. And as I said, your enemies are literally hiding in plain sight. So the more that you're fasting, the more that you're giving up bad addictions such as alcohol, you know, you may have that one relative who can't stop drinking and they see that you're becoming sober. They see that you're, you're making healthier food choices. They see that you're fasting more. They see that you're, you know, you're building up your spiritual energy. You're meditating more. You're doing your, you're giving your offerings to your ancestors. You're doing your mudras. You're doing your sun gazing, whatever it is that you're doing. The more of that that you are doing, the more of your friends and family will become jealous of you because now you're going to start radiating more light and that light that you radiate bothers their demons. So many people are walking around with very parasitic entities within them and they are struggling to be able to master them. They're struggling to be able to overcome these wicked entities that are housing within their vessels. So instead of them being able to now go and, you know, fix themselves up to deal with themselves, they'd rather take their anger and their hatred and jealousy out on you. You know, they're jealous that you're able to overcome your own demons. They're jealous that you're able to clean up your life and they're not. So in my personal experience, I found that it's best to just walk this path alone because, you know, your friends today could be your enemies tomorrow. I mean, I've had so many negative people, uh, sorry, I've had so many negative experiences dealing with people. And the funny thing is that it's not even just your friends and family because you sometimes people think that the, anti the antidote to dealing with the situation is to go and find other like-minded people. So in other words, go and find other spiritual people that you can be around and you can hang with. But no, spiritual other spiritual people can also be jealous of you. I kid you not. I've had many instances where, you know, I thought that, hey, maybe by hanging around people that are like me and understand this path that, hey, cool, we're not going to have any um, bad energy between us. But nope, spiritual people can be just as wicked as non-spiritual people. I mean, how many... Uh, stories do we hear of witches attacking other witches or of a uh, narcissistic yoga teachers or you know just narcissistic spiritual people i mean it's everywhere guys it's not just non-spiritual people it's also so-called spiritual people so you, that's why i'm saying that on this path it's better to just walk alone because anyone could be your enemy overnight you know you think someone is your friend and then they see you having all these spiritual experiences. They see that you're able to, you know, you share information with them about you being able to astral travel and you're interacting with all these gods and deities and spirits. Meanwhile, they can't even remember their dreams at night. So, I mean, of course, they're going to be jealous. They're going to be like, you know, why can't I also have these experiences? You know, why am I struggling to astral project? And, you know, why am I not being contacted by certain spirits? So... In my opinion, you know, as I said, it's best to just sometimes be able to just keep to yourself and learn to enjoy your own company, your own company. I mean, I love just chilling by myself. You know, I'm in my apartment. You know, I love entertaining myself. You know, I'm, I'm doing my spiritual work. I'm reading books. I'm watching anime. I'm cooking healthy food, eating nice meals, getting my sunlight. I mean, it's, it's such a peaceful life that I'm living in. There's no drama. There's no you know, people trying to set me up for failure. And so, yeah, guys, like, this is just my personal opinion and my experience that I've shared with you guys. Like, friends and family on this path are going to be your number one enemy. It's never, ever, usually it's never strangers 
that dislike you because a stranger doesn't know you so they have no reason to actually hate you the people that know you though and they can see your spiritual progress and they can see the person that you're becoming oh they're going to turn into the biggest monsters that uh, you'll ever see you know so just be careful guys about the type of company that you keep around you and you know make sure that you up up your protection especially in this season that we're in since like there's so much darkness on the planet right now there's many astral attacks going on and psychic attacks and people using all sorts of dark magic so i mean you gotta be careful you gotta up up your protection do your cleansings and all of that stuff so yeah guys that's my message for you in this video today and i hope that you are having a great day and that you continue to prosper and take care of yourself i'll see you guys in my next video take care bye